So hey guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the channel. What an exciting day. I've got my COVID vaccine. A vaccine the world has managed to get together for and develop in less than a year, which is absolutely miraculous. Usually vaccines take, you know, seven to 11 years, but all the resources and effort of scientists has, uh, and money of course as well, has led to this vaccine being developed. I got my Pfizer vaccine early today. I went to Adam Brooks, Cambridge's main hospital to go and get my vaccine. And yeah, I've had it, feel completely fine. And I guess it gives me a bit more confidence going and seeing patients training to become a doctor. I wanted to make this video just to, you know, talk about vaccines and tell you how important they are. As scary as vaccines may be, as, you know, intimidating as even COVID may sound, vaccines are an important way for your body to build an immunity, to build defense to a disease before you get the disease. Imagine you're a king and you've got lots of gold and you've built yourself a castle. You'd want to test the strength of that castle, you know, with your own soldiers once to see how strong it is before an actual enemy comes and attacks you. That way you can work out what works and what doesn't work with the castle. And doing this allows you to strengthen and prepare yourself for a similar attack from the enemy when it comes in the future. So vaccinations work in a similar way. They prepare your body for eventual infection from a disease. And with COVID, it's a matter of not if you get COVID, when you get COVID. We all know it's a ridiculously transmissible virus. It's spreading so quickly. And as important as social distancing is, as important as reducing going out and about is, and getting into contact with other people, it's so important that when a working vaccine comes out for you to take up the offer and make the most of it. I thought I'd just make this video whilst I go along to the supermarket and I'm really happy that I've got the vaccine. Apparently with the Pfizer vaccine you need two doses because with the first dose you get a 50% immunity and then with the second dose you top it up to 100% immunity. And getting this vaccine as someone who will be working and seeing COVID patients in the near future, I'm, you know, I think I'll be far more confident because I know that being vaccinated, if I do catch COVID, then I'm not going to be affected as badly. Now that doesn't mean just because you have the vaccine, you can go out and about and be reckless, see your mates. So the point of the vaccine is to help you, you know, build your defenses and to get ready. So when COVID does come to you, then your body is the one that will get less damaged by it. COVID seems to be a disease which, you know, it affects many people very differently. And even in Cambridge, they've reported people in their 20s and 30s being affected by it. And as the COVID virus mutates, as we have new variants, it's going to affect people very, very differently. Not pleasant at all getting COVID. So let's not underestimate this disease. Let's listen to the government. Let's work with the fantastic NHS. I heard yesterday in the news that they're pumping out 140 vaccines per minute. 140 people being vaccinated per minute for the COVID vaccine. And I think the NHS deserves a huge, huge pat on the back for that. Of course, the NHS isn't the perfect healthcare system. It does have a few drawbacks. There aren't enough doctors, there aren't enough nurses, there aren't enough rehabilitation therapists. The whole NHS, I think personally, needs more funding, more of a revamp, and it needs to be modernized for the 21st century. That doesn't mean it should be privatized. I don't think a private system is good at all. I think a private system isn't going to be the best for patients. Of course, doctors still make money. Of course, you know, all the other people involved in the profession will make money. But ultimately, it's the patients that will lose out from having um, a private healthcare system. And so a public healthcare system is advantageous for the patients. It means, like in the NHS at the moment, you get free healthcare upon delivery. And so, you know, the benefits of a public healthcare service will buy if you have an accident, you can go to A&E and get free healthcare upon delivery. That's absolutely wonderful. And in this modern world, it's hard to find any country with a healthcare system that provides the level of care that the NHS does for free when you have an accident, when you need it, or even if you want an elective procedure done to you. So, you know, the NHS is an amazing organization, must value it greatly. And if you know any healthcare workers, you know, whether they're healthcare assistants, whether they're physiotherapists, whether they are doctors or nurses, you know, go and say thank you to them because the effort they're putting in is absolutely fantastic. And as a student doctor at Cambridge, you know, I'm most excited to be one day working in the NHS to be helping, you know, patients get better. And even during times like COVID, working hard through the dire times and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, coming back to the main point of the video, which is the vaccine, you know, I'm very happy. 
and I've been so fortunate to be one of the earlier people to get the vaccine. As a medical student, as someone who you know, will be working at Adam Brooks, seeing COVID patients pretty soon, the fact that they've given it to me is a real privilege and even more of a privilege given that on the NHS, I haven't had to pay a single penny for it. It's something I know I shouldn't take for granted. And I know there are also many vulnerable people who deserve to get the vaccine getting it at the moment, which is fantastic. The NHS recently announced that over 70s are also going to get the vaccine. And that's really good news. I think this, you know, COVID vaccine uh, rollout has been most impressive. I didn't expect the UK could pull this off, but the fact that they're giving out millions of vaccine, you know, per week practically now is something to really, really appreciate and to be thankful for. Anyway, I'm near the supermarket, so lovely talking to you all. I do encourage you when you do get the opportunity for a vaccine to go and get it. It's something that's very important, both for the health of yourself, your family, but also the rest of society. You know, we've got this concept of herd immunity, whereby if you're vaccinated, it makes it harder for you to transmit the disease onto other people. And the last thing that you want to do is unknowingly, asymptomatically, pass on COVID. So, you know, if you're vaccinated, then that reduces the chance of that, which also means you're protecting other people. So vaccines are like a double bullet. Not only do you protect yourself, you also protect other people when enough people in the population have been vaccinated. Look at things like polio. You know, you've managed to practically eradicate polio with the use of drugs. And even if you look at certain graphs of MMR, measles, mumps and rubella, the times when vaccination rates dropped, that's when MMR cases picked up again. So it really suggests that there's quite a strong correlation between vaccination efforts and disease prevalence. Anyway, you guys think about it. You guys make your own decision. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to advise you, but I'd love to share my opinion. So on that note, let's call it a video and I'll speak to you guys soon in the next video. Cheerio.